All right, guys, welcome back to another day after a tornado. Apparently, every every Saturday I go to work, we have a tornado Friday night. So. But it's sunny again. Of course, pour down rain. But the door that we thought was a hidden gem is not so much. <laughs> uh, my problem is, it was full termites behind that kick plate. Or ants or something. The other side was pretty solid. I took it off. I sanded it. I woody wood puttied the holes and when I came back in the morning there was termites stripping out I guess they got their air blocked off <sighs> so I killed them off with some killer I drilled it all out and I filled it with liquid nails which is for some reason is not hardening up so I got me some uh, ultimate gorilla adhesive we got ourselves a board we're just gonna scab over it for now screw it on down i ran some eight inch screws through the side but i don't think that door it's not gonna be a permanent door we're gonna use it for now i need to get them guys they've been cooped up in their much bigger house though but they need to get out in the sun in the yard so i am hurrying up trying to get that done i've been painting i've got almost all the landscape uh, not landscape. Blackstone underneath. It's all underneath except for the part that's on the ground. So, it's not bad. End up hitting myself pretty good with the hammer. It's all puffed up. But as I always say, shit happens. So, nothing to do about it. Let's move on. So, switched out my blade on my saw because... I, uh, I guess bought into the hype of the Diablo blades. They used to be good. They're making them thin now and they just bend. So you can put your square on there, run your saw, and it still cuts it on like a third, uh, slight angle, like a 25, but it won't cut it straight. So I switched to the Milwaukee blade, it came with it, and we're cutting straight now. So we'll have to look into a better blade. I don't know which, Erwin maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I wanted to fill you in on the door. And we're just gonna pop that down on there. Hopefully, I got some surface to screw to. Just need a few screws, mainly in the column part, which they did make it up through there a little. I end up just poking it out and cutting it out, and I kind of made it all around the frame, so. But for now, we're just going to use this door. I'll, I'll get a hunt for a door. I've seen, I've seen quite a few on uh, Facebook Marketplace that are not too bad looking. They're not a bad price, you know. We'll see what's what. I'm not sure if that's how you use this or not. Wait, I'm to cut me a little piece. I'm sure I've not done. Okay. So sometimes some of these have a cap. This stuff better be good. <laughs> this stuff better be good. It was like eleven dollars. They had they had one that was heavy duty, and they had ultimate. So and this says it works underwater. Freaking every it does everything. And I've had pretty good luck with gorilla. So I've also cut a little strip and stuck in here. So uh, that's just, just disappointing on this. Hopefully that wood glue hardens up, that liquid nails hardens up under there. But I've gotten quite a few bad batches of liquid nails, so I don't know. I bought a whole case that was bad one time. That was annoying. This door smells like it's an antique st uh, shop. Got that antique smell to it for some reason.
Something under there. All right, I should sandwich it good enough. Let the glue dry. I have no idea how long. Oh, dang. 24-hour cure time. That'll be right under there. And the same thing up top here. We kind of had a little bit of a problem up top. I ran a structural lag all the way through, it's eight inch, but it just spun out. So I may move it down a tiny bit, see if it'll go in. Uh, the other one on the other side went in. It looks like the liquid nail's hard enough up here. Yeah. Somewhat. I can kind of kind of bend it a little bit but i don't know how yeah but let's get up here a little bit i'm gonna turn you guys a little sideways so i got my four by fours we're getting them painted even though you're not really supposed to paint pressure treated for like six months but i don't have that long a time i will run out of screen though unfortunately because a piece got damaged. Uh, I got uh, one piece and there's a little four foot piece that got damaged on the end. So I wasn't able to do that one part. But that part's screened in, stones under it, stones under all of this side, all up underneath there. And then the other side's all the way up to there. And then uh, there's a little bit of a gap, but then it's on the ground, that whole part. That's a whole lot of digging. And again, I'll need, I would say about 16 more stone. <laughs> Let's go check on the little guys. Let's go see what they're doing. The wife's name on everybody, so it'd be hard to get rid of some of them if they're a bunch of roosters. <laughs> and how are you guys doing? You gotta be careful because they want to get out so they come a running i did uh add another latch behind here keep this door from moving because it has the latch it's it windy that one there it's we're gonna name that one sunflower because it looks like a sunflower it's black and yellow there we go yeah <laughs> see look at that coming on over see a little sunflower And a little rooster there you gotta watch his butt there's quite a few roosters so but it's not let them get too friendly so that's that's the update on that oh there's a freaking there's a hawk and he's circling around if he kills any chickens he's gonna have to start laying eggs he's gonna be in here so we also have an eagle here too so he's actually fairly big like real big when it pours down rain he sits right up by the fence post on the ground and he looks like he's about two foot off the ground two foot tall so uh i don't have the roof on the pen yet but i do have this heavy duty netting just for like deer and stuff well, it's not really it doesn't look heavy duty but it's pretty stout you get a tractor supply it's like a i don't know you i don't know if you can see it but it, it's, uh, I can tear it, but I'm also not a little girl. So uh, I'm gonna throw it up on the top here, up over where the roof's gonna be. Just gonna throw it up over here and it'll act as a deterrent. So the hawk comes down, he's gonna get wrapped up in that. But they should be able to see it. And we, my plan is to get them out, hopefully the end of today. Uh, I'm gonna have to substitute my thicker hardware cloth for right now. I'm gonna have to order another roll. I hate to order another roll just for a little eight-foot piece, but it'll work for repairs. You know, the lawnmower kicks a rock through it or something, or you know, you know, life happens. So I bump it with a tractor or something. But I've been going through trying to reinforce everything, uh, add eight-inch lags four inch lag, uh, structural lags. I like to overdo it. I got braces everywhere, putting braces. 
I got this piece. I got these little ties. They're 90s. You screw them in and you hammer them over. But they're pretty stout. I shouldn't go nowhere. And at the top, the top I got two eight inch structural lights coming down through. So, and we got the net. I kind of thought about putting a cross brace about four foot or in the middle, but I really like the, the openness, how it looks. It just looks, you know, you got that big like pitcher window of just open. You don't have no bracing, you don't have no two by four strips, nothing, it's just the view. It'll get shady here, cause these are, these are the mimosas. They get them big old leaves.
Okay guys, I got the screen in on all the sides, but one spot, as we are short, right here. It's one spot, Nick, and I also got the door in, temporary. I gotta put the door handle and everything. Still gotta put rafters up and roof and all that, but for now, as soon as I get this temporary panel in and the door handle, we're able to get them little butts out here in the yard. Be a little tweaking with it. But that's it's not bad. I need to get whatever this crap is off of there. Yeah, the wind's been about freaking 70 miles an hour too, so. Find up putting a latch in here where we can latch it. Well, it's staying right there because I'd probably put it in a hair crooked, but <sighs> that door's heavy. It's like a 200 pound door. So I think most of the weight is the double pane glass because the termites ate a bunch of it. But we did, you know, we did patch it up on the other side. So I don't think the chickens care what it looks like. <sighs> but like I said, I'm going to get the temporary panel in door handle on I gotta figure out the I probably gotta cut a block in here I'm gonna run some screws pull this in a tiny bit I gotta cut the strike plate and put the handle in a door handle in but it's just insanely windy like it's gusting like 50 60 it makes it hard to pick up the door to walk with it and it about blows you over I'm pretty happy with what I got done we got the yard the run it is framed in Doors in, just missing one panel. It's on its way. It should be here Wednesday, I think, for that roll. And then we'll have to start with my, you know, rafters, put them in. Should only take about seven sheets of plywood and I don't even know, 15 two by tens, maybe two by six by tens. We're gonna put gutters on. We're gonna put gutters, rain barrel. Uh, I got a bunch of drinker nipples that are sideways. We're gonna make a bar and run gutters into the 55 gallon drum have a drinker bar there uh we got a bridge to build we got pavers to put up front uh, a little tiny fence around this area in the front where the door is uh solar panel fans in there for the summer because it gets super hot and who knows but as soon as this is pretty good we gotta get on the goat we gotta start doing a goat pen and area which I think where the horse was, I got six strands of barbed wire. So in between each strand of barbed wire, I'm going to run electric. And that, that, that should do. I appreciate you guys for watching. I didn't film much because I'm trying to get done. It's I can't. I don't want to keep them cooped up in here. They've been in the house for four weeks. They've been in here for a week. Yeah, a week. So I want to get them out. I want to get them scratching and digging. So you guys know. Got to take care of the animals. So. Like and subscribe, and we got plenty, a million things to do, so. Hey.